Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a really cute um, DIY project. It's so easy, literally anybody can do it. The best kind of DIYs, right? And I'm really excited to collaborate with Dawn at the Teal Pumpkin today. She's also gonna be sharing a DIY. And what's fun is both of these combined would make a perfect um, pairing for your front door for Halloween. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget to go over and check her out. She'll be linked in the description box. And without further ado, let's get going. The only thing you're gonna need is a doormat. I got my blank one at Walmart. I think it was like under $7. And whatever kind of cookie cutter that you want. I bought these little sponge brushes too. I think that they're gonna be the easiest. And then just some paint. And all you're gonna do is we're gonna take these. I can't decide which one I want to use. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use this one. And these mats let you press the cookie cutter into it. And so all you're gonna do is take your paint and paint the inside of it. And I'm just going to do the ghosts alone. But I think it would be cute if you mixed things together. Maybe some pumpkins or something. But anyway. Let's do this. I just wanted to share a couple little tricks with you. Um, as you do it, you learn things, and this is the very first time I've ever done this. So you do have to apply a bit of pressure onto the cookie cutter, even though it does kind of sit down inside of the mat, because this isn't like super tightly woven. Um, you will need to put a little bit of pressure on there. And then don't expect it to be completely opaque no matter how much paint I put on it just was never like solid white which I didn't mind but maybe somebody else would but just a little tip for you there you can see here I try to go in and put more paint on top of it after I've pulled the cookie cutter off but again it just still would need a ton of paint maybe if you would have spray painted it it would have been better but again I wanted to keep this super easy and literally anybody could do this I recently saw that they have a, a doormat type even at the dollar store so I wanted this to be super budget friendly and literally make anybody feel like they can do it because I hate when I see DIYs on YouTube or even TikTok or Instagram or anywhere like that and you have to have all of these supplies and by the time you end up buying everything it's so expensive you should have just bought the real thing and um, not everybody has a Cricut machine and not everybody has a silhouette so again I just want to make it easy and doable for everybody no matter what I decided to go in and put little um, black eyes on all of the ghosts. I didn't put a mouth, but you could. And I, again, I just wanted to keep it pretty easy and simple. Um, you do need a lot of paint, and I ran out of white paint, and so I ended up using uh, like a creamer paint. They weren't the exact same color, but once I got them on the mat, you really couldn't tell. But maybe buy two bottles of paint instead of one. I go into these DIY projects not thinking that this is going to last a lifetime or I want it to really last a lifetime. I really like switching out my doormats every season or every holiday. So this will last me the next four weeks. It cost me under $10 and it's so cute. What do you guys think?
you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to go check out Dawn's channel. I'll have it linked in the description box um, and check out her wreath. I'm sure it turned out so cute. And I hope that you'll subscribe if you're new here and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.